Whistleblower unraveled Dansk Bank money laundering scheme involving $230 billion from Putin's cousin. Here's a summary of the article. Lantana seemed to be a British company in name only with a postal address in an unremarkable office building in North London, that it shared with at least 64 other shell companies with accounts at Dansk Bank Estonia and connections to remote exotic places known for banking secrecy and money laundering. Steve Croft, is it true that a high-ranking executive at the bank told you, quote, this bank is not the police, that the bank has no obligation to report false clients' accounts to the authorities, Howard Wilkinson, perfectly true. Attorney Stephen Cohn, who has been representing whistleblowers for more than 30 years, and is Howard Wilkinson's lawyer, says Dansk Bank is not the only one that profited from the scheme. JP Morgan was the first to suspect that Dansk Bank was laundering large amounts of Russian money through its Estonian branch and it broke off its banking relationship in 2013. Steve Croft, the banks aren't talking to us, but I would assume that they'll say, look, it's its Dansk Bank's job to know who its customers are. Our customer is Dansk Bank. We have no reason to know all this money is flowing into Estonia from from Russia and it's cooperating with the investigation as a JP Morgan, Bank of America, and Deutsche Bank USA. None of the banks accepted our requests for interviews. It's impossible to say exactly where the $230 billion of dirty money originated beyond the banks of Moscow. This post received a score of 9,559, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. What you do is first set up a dummy account, then you do a small trade of rubles to knocker, then knocker to euro, then finally euros to dollar. Not gonna lie, the screening algo is not sophisticated and is easy as shit to defeat, so I will also put the onus on the sales desk traders to alert me if they think some of the trades are from new or fishy accounts, which in this case, those accounts are fishy as all shit. If my sales desk traders are all honest and have the best interests of the bank in mind, money laundering like this would be very, very hard. So what happens is the criminals will collude with the traders and agree to give them above the market spreads on these FX trades so that the traders can line their pockets, and the traders in question will agree to turn a blind eye so I don't see anything. I could write an algorithm that's better than what you describe, are the banks adverse to looking too close at their own dirty laundry, or are they just landlocked on their legacy systems? 50-50. You'd have to convince my former boss real hard to spend budget on something that's not only not revenue generating but also potentially causes more culpability. Gonna be a hard sell. Edit, maybe that's unfair. I'm not pointing out my former boss specifically. He was actually pretty cool and took his job very seriously. I'm talking about bank management in general. Still, his budget was slashed over and over again, and one of the reasons why we both quit is because it's a shit job that nobody appreciates. You're forgetting the need for backtesting any new algo, and then investigating each positive the new algo pulls up because you have to confirm what it finds, can't just say, okay from now on we'll be careful. And hash x200b. Depending on the size of the bank, this would be a year-long project, for a large team. Also as highlighted above, companies benefit from this and so don't go looking to heavily into things. And hash x200b. Counterpoint, if you make client lives difficult by onerous checks, even in the interests of AML, they will go elsewhere. But he did sit down with us and told his tale about a financial crime so big it's hard to fathom. Howard Wilkinson, the end number that's reported for the whole thing over the six or seven years is $230 billion of suspicious money. Steve Croft, one bank. Howard Wilkinson, one bank, $230 billion. Let's see, can I image in $230 billion, nope $230 million, nope. $230,000, shit that would change my life insanely, ID have a house all paid off and everything. I can hardly imagine what to do with 0.0001% of the money he laundered. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.